Hey there, it's Tracy with Record Fuel. We're going to go out and do some digging today in Kansas City. We're going to try to go to most of the record stores here in Kansas City that sells used vinyl. Now, most of these stores all sell new and used, but we're going to go out and do some digging today. So, the looks like the round trip is going to be about 34 miles driving. Look at it. And it, so, we're going to try to go to from the Power and Light area where we live is uh, Josie Records, Revolution Records, Sister Ann's, Mills Record Store, The Vinyl Underground at 7th Heaven, Got What You Like, and FM Music Vintage Sounds. As you can see from this map that I've got up here, we're going to start down here in the Power and Light, go to Josie Records, Revolution, down to Sister Ann's, on into Mills Record Company, down to the Vinyl Underground, down to Got What You Like, and then we're going to make the trek back home to that direction and go to FM Music Vintage Sounds over there. So we're going to go out and do some digging today here in Kansas City and see what kind of gems we can come up with. Thanks for coming along for the rides. Tracy with Record Fuel. All right, this is the first stop on our record store tour today. This is actually the closest store to our home here in Kansas City. We're going into Josie Records. All right, our next stop is Revolution Records. It's literally two blocks away from Josie Records. I'm gonna go in here again. They sell books and 45s and all kinds of other stuff, audio equipment also. We're gonna come in and we're going to Revolution Records. They have one of the coolest logos.
All right, now we're on the fourth stop. We are at Got What You Like Records. Odd thing is, is there it really is not a lot of markings outside the address, and then have a sign in the window. It's got vinyl. I buy records. Then they have a sign that says open. Uh, I'm gonna go inside, see what they got. We are now at the Vinyl Underground, located inside of 7th Heaven here in Kansas City. Uh, that's right, Vinyl Underground, used and new vinyl records. Okay, there we are finally here at Mills Records. We're coming in, we're gonna go in and check out what they've got today.
So we went out to seven record stores in one day here in Kansas City. Uh, we went a little out of order from the beginning of the video. The drive time was just over an hour, but we stopped and ate lunch. And that took us a little bit out of the loop of how we were going to go originally. But again, we went to seven record stores here in Kansas City and did some digging. And from the video, you can tell that there are lots of great options to be able to pick up great used music at a great price. Some are a little more pricey than others, but I would say that they're priced uh, appropriately. Uh, the quality of the record stores uh, here in Kansas City, I usually never uh, question the uh, quality of product they're putting out. Basically, you can tell what the item is by how it's priced. That being said, I always pull the album out of the sleeve and take a look at it, make sure if there's any scuffs or scratches or anything, because I'm going to play that music. So I want to make sure that it's going to play right and play correctly. And it's not really about the money that I'm spending, although it is, but it's more about because I'm actually going to play that music and I want to make sure that it's playable and doesn't have any you know, big scratches that might have skips in it or anything. A lot of record stores will actually put some things on there like, you know, skips on side B or things like that. But for the most part, the quality of the record stores here in Kansas City is extremely good. So uh, they're always running specials. There are a few that have specials where they have like a membership reward where you basically sign up and you get their email blast and you get a coupon for that week for 20% off of uh, one item. Or as you could tell, uh, sometimes they run specials where that were 50% off of the $5 or less used albums. Uh, at one particular place, uh, the Vinyl Underground, they were record cleaning month. And I went ahead and bought a entry level kit by Groove Washer, as you can tell, local Kansas City company that you should be able to either mail order or probably go into your own record store uh, locally to you and pick this up. It's a great product, but I picked this up. They were running 30% off of uh, record cleaning supplies. And so I bought this $7 for this small kit. And again, it's just very small. Comes with a cleaning sponge, a you know two ounce applicator with the spray. And I was wanting to get another one of these, so I went ahead and picked it up, but a uh, foam insert to cover the label on your uh, records when you clean them. You put that on there and then spray it on. Now at this store that I brought, bought it at, again, they were running 30% off. So this was $7 to get this kit. They actually offer a, a program that if you run out, it will fill up your two ounce uh, solution for free if you bring in the bottle uh, that you bought it at from them uh, directly. So that's a pretty cool deal. So seven bucks for this little kit again. And, uh, but there was lots of great digging. As you can see, uh, going to seven record stores in one day is a lot. But I wanted to get out and go do it. I hadn't been to some of these stores and for a while. Usually I'll go out and hit one or two each time I go out and dig. And then the next week or two weeks later, I'll go and hit a couple of other stores. But going out and there was just so much quality of stuff that was at every store. As you see, I didn't go out searching for those albums. I just kind of walked through the bins and picked them up and was looking at those and I was able to get the pricing off of it and see a lot of those albums I have already, but it was great to see what they're being priced at and what the condition was and the availability of what they are. Like I said, I did pick up a couple of uh, albums there that I really wasn't expecting to get. Charlie Sexton at a very cheap price and also Boz Skaggs. And I didn't have either of those albums. Uh, I'm gonna put those on and listen to them and see what they are and they were extremely cheap i think two dollars and one was 250 so very uh reasonably priced so again thanks for tuning in it's tracy with record fuel make sure to like and subscribe thank you